Mm. Oh boy. These bring back memories. See, when I was a teenager, I was a cowboy on a cattle ranch in Canlips, BC. And every year we'd do a trail ride. At the end of the trail ride, this old cowboy would be stirring up a big pot of sloppy joes. He'd grab a bun, he'd go over there, he'd ladle a massive sloppy joes all over your bun, and he'd eat them. Now, I tried for years to replicate his recipe after I moved away from Kamloops and finally got it and I'm very happy with it. But I thought, you know, what if we had cheese on top of it? I mean, everything goes better with cheese. So, then I discovered, just a, a year or so ago, I discovered these uh, Stand and Stuff shells by El Paso. And I thought, aha. So, what we have here are cheesy, sloppy joe boats. And they are absolutely fantastic. Easy to make and imagine the fun your family's gonna have eating these. Let's go in the kitchen and make some right now. All right, we're ready to make cheesy sloppy joe boats. Now, first thing we have here, I've got uh, a tablespoon of olive oil just for cooking the meat and the onions in. I have one and a third pounds of ground meat, just uh, about 600 grams. And in this case, I've got a mixture of pork and beef, but you could be just beef, you could be just pork, anyone else is fine. One onion, finely chopped. And afterwards, we're gonna add in these, we're gonna create a sauce out of these. We have here a quarter cup of ketchup, three tablespoons of molasses, three tablespoons of chili powder, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, or Worcester sauce, I believe it's actually called, but I've always called it the wrong way. Two garlic cloves that have been crushed, a half a teaspoon of pepper, a half a teaspoon of salt. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fire up the, the uh, fry pan here at about a medium heat. We wanna brown up the meat a little bit first. So we got that about medium. Add in the olive oil. And then we we'll let that olive oil just start heating up. Just, you know, with gas, it's so quick, but just looking for the surface to start rippling a little bit. Spread it right around a bit. All right, basically we have action. So we're gonna add in the onions. And in with the onions, the ground meat. Then, going to mix that around, get the onions mixed in with the beef. That's going to happen as we're cooking. We're going to cook this now for 10 minutes. In 10 minutes, what you want to do is basically brown the meat a bit and uh, get those onions softened up a bit. All right, so we got that started. We'll let that cook for a bit and then come back and stir it some more. While that's cooking, you've got 10 minutes. So we're gonna make the sauce. This is gonna go into the meat afterwards. So we got the ketchup. Put that into a small bowl. The molasses. Just gonna mix all these ingredients together. All right, then we got the chili powder. Dump that in there. The <laughs> Worcester sauce. Why is it spelled Worcestershire sauce? And you're supposed to say Worcester? Never could figure that one out. The garlic. The pepper. The salt. And now all I do is just mix this together. 10 minutes after this is finished browning, this is gonna go in there. All right, that's coming together nicely. All right, that's ready to go. So, I'm just gonna let this sit here. I'm gonna keep cooking this. I'm gonna come back in 10 minutes and this will be nicely brown. All right, that's been cooking for 10 minutes now. I've mixed it all up nicely. Look at this, the meat's brown, the onions are softer. So now what we're gonna do is add in that sauce we created earlier. 
Get that all in there. Beautiful stuff. All right. And I'm going to turn the heat down to medium low. I just want to simmer this now and mix that sauce in. We're going to mix the sauce into the meat. Go simmer this for about 15 minutes. Let's get all those flavors going through the meat, going through the onions, the whole mixture is just going to taste fantastic. Fantastic sloppy joes. Now, while this is going on, while this is cooking, I'm also going to prepare sour cream and cheddar cheese. Now, about three quarters of a cup of sour cream and eight ounces of cheddar cheese or 220 grams. I'm going to grate that up. We'll have that all ready when this is cooked, finished cooking in 15 minutes from now. That's going to be ready and we'll have the, uh, the little boats ready. Bring those out. All I have to do with those is just put them in a, into a baking dish. And then this is going to go in the boats. We're going to add the sour cream. We're going to add the uh, cheddar cheese and it's all going to go in the oven and be absolutely delicious. So let's come back in 15 minutes. All right. That's been simmering for about 15 minutes. It smells absolutely fabulous in here, making me very hungry. Now what we're going to do, as you can see here, I've uh, set up eight. They come in a package of eight, the uh, stand and stuff shells. These are the new ones from El Paso. I don't know if anybody else makes those or not. I get them from El Paso. They're fantastic. Uh, fit just perfectly into my baking dish here. So what we're going to do now we're going to divide this meat mixture up amongst these eight little boats. Okay, now that the meat is divided up amongst the boats, next comes the cream cheese. And just want to kind of lay a bit of cream cheese in on top, a couple of dollops like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just want uh, every, every boat to have oh, about an equal amount of cream cheese dollops in it. It's hard to spread this out perfectly. It's just loop it in there. All right, so that's our cream cheese basically divided up amongst the boats. Next, we're just going to pile cheddar cheese up on top of the boats. Maybe just divide the cheese up amongst the boats like you did with the, everything else. Make sure everybody's getting an equal amount. Everybody be happy. And these are going to be cheesy, sloppy Joe boats. All right, so got a little cheese on the counter. Get that in there. Just uh, one last check. The cheese is all nicely divided up. Sitting on top, push it down a bit. All right, this is going to go in the oven now for 20 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. And uh, that's it. The cheese is going to melt. That uh, sour cream is going to melt into the meat. It's going to be absolutely delicious. So let's get these in the oven now. All right, so 20 minutes in the oven and we have absolutely beautiful golden melted cheese. This is going to be delicious. Now, you're going to want to let these sit for probably a few minutes to cool down a little bit before you serve them up. They are really hot. Uh, not exactly the temperature you can hold them in your hand. But one of the things to do right away is see where they've kind of got stuck together by the cheese. I just run my knife through there. It's an ordinary butter knife. And just loosen that up quickly. There we go. That's going to make it easier to get those out of the uh, baking dish after it's Right now the cheese is still a bit soft. Actually here it's got a little crusty, but easy to cut through. Get that all set up. All right, so now I'll just say, let these sit. Sit a couple minutes while you're uh, serving up salad and stuff. And there you go. Cheesy sloppy Joe boats. They are delicious. Now, if you go to the link appearing on the screen, you can get the free printable recipe on our website. You'll also find a real easy to follow along recipe infographic, which visually shows you steps in making these delicious, cheesy, sloppy Joe boats. So go print out the recipe, have fun making and eating these little tasties, and make cooking fun again with Kuma's Kitchen. <laughs>